Here's how to calculate the mode, mean, and median averages in SQL Server databases. In all of the examples, I'll be using the products table from the SQL Server Northwind sample database. If you need to download this database, there's a link in the description below. First up, we'll look at mean. This is simply adding up all of the values and dividing by the number of values. SQL Server and other relational databases have a built-in function for achieving this and it's called AVG in SQL Server. So to get the mean price from the products table, we just select AVG of the unit price. So the mean price is $28.8663. So looking at the data in the table for unit price, and that's probably about right. Now let's look at calculating the mode. The mode is simply the number that occurs the most times in a sequence of numbers. In SQL Server and other relational databases, we can calculate this using a group by clause. So here's an example, and we need to find the most popular unit price. So we simply select the top one unit price from the products table, we group it by the unit price, and then we order it by the number of products that have that particular price in descending order, so biggest are at the top of the list. So let's see what the mode is, and it says that the mode is 14. We can check it by running this query, so we will just select the products from the table and order it by the unit price. So let's see, 14. Okay, so 14 occurs four times. The problem we have here is that 18 also appears four times. So if we change this query and run this, then we see that both 14 and 18 both appear four times. So while this does calculate the mode, just be aware that there could be two or more values for the mode. Finally, let's calculate the median. If you line all the numbers up in order, then median is the value that occurs in the middle. This is the most difficult to calculate because SQL Server doesn't have a built-in function to calculate median. After hunting around the internet, I found quite a good solution to this. Just be aware though that this SQL script I'm going to show you only works in SQL Server. It won't work in other relational databases. So we can use this SQL statement here to find the median value in our database. We are using a within group clause and we are also using percentile disk. We use a value of 0.5 here, which means 50%. So I've based this query on the Microsoft reference page for percentile disk, and I've linked that to the description below. The issue with this method is that you have to group the median by a column value. In this instance, I've just used discontinued because it's a bit value, so either products are discontinued or they're not. Later in this video, I'll show you how I removed the group by clause. Incidentally, you can use percentile cont instead of percentile disk. This means we get a slightly different median value. With percentile disk, the median value must exist in the database as a column value. With percentile cont, this value is interpolated, so it might not actually exist in your database. It is, however, a more accurate median. So do these queries actually work? I'll run this little script here to get the discontinued products. So the percentile disk is the value that must exist in a database, and this value will be 32.8. I don't know why it's chosen this one and not this one, but that is the median for this calculation. So for this one, the median was 35.9 for the discontinued products. We would say that the median would be here, so percentile cont calculated the median to be 35.9, which is the average of these two middle values. So this one is definitely right as well. Finally, after some trial and error, I got rid of the grouping in these queries. So if you want to calculate the median without grouping, then try this. And it says that the median is 19.5. The main thing I've done with this query is to remove the distinct column. I've also used a blank over clause, which apparently is legit. And is the median 19.5? I basically copied and pasted all of the data into Excel, and I calculated the median value was this one, the ravioli, which has a unit price of 19.5. Just give it a good test if you're intending to use it. I hope you found this video useful. 
If you find any better ways of calculating averages, particularly the median, then please do drop a comment below. Thanks for watching!